it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. high school streaming service scordle.tv find out more at scordle.com slash stream at maples nixon diesel horse we've helped a lot of people and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend and as a friend we've got your back always we understand what you're going through being lawyers is what we do but it's not all that we are we care We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AM.
Is there a reason why this stuff changes? I don't know. Okay. All right, we'll go on. Thank you, sir. Bye. We're, we're live, Tony. Hey, I guess we're back. Um, you missed the... Uh, I think you got to see it, but you didn't hear it from us. But uh, Tornadoes took the onside kick. Kevin Gooch took it. Uh, got it to the 30-yard uh, line for the Tornadoes. It brings up uh, second and 10, I believe. Uh, good defense um, for the Panthers. Uh, number 72 on the play. Uh, Bison Kelly on the carry for the Tornadoes. We didn't get much of a push up there on that old line that time, Tony. Now, they're going to be, uh, like I said, they're not an oversized uh, offensive or defensive line, but they're very athletic, and they got good size, but not overly big. So we're going to have to deal with some people with some quick feet, and we're going to have to get on them. That leaves us in third and ten, and we don't like to be in that area either, but we can handle that. We can, we can throw the ball, but I'd rather be in third and short. So we go twins right. Uh, Bryson takes it at the middle. Oh, Bryson. BK1. He gets it down inside the 10-yard line, I think. Close to the 12, maybe the 10. 
A great run, great effort by Bryson Kelly on the play for the Tornadoes. Gene? Yep, just opposite that time we got the push by the old lining and he got the hole and, and uh, carried a guy and got the first down. We're, we're inside the, are we in the red zone, Tony? Yes, it's sir. Really tough to read it from here. I think we're on the 15. Yeah, so we're definitely inside the red zone. 14. 14 yard line and the score. They still says they've said it was first and 10 the whole time. The scoreboard. So I don't know. <laughs> Go by that. Um, I would not. Bison takes a snap. Looks to the left. Cuts it up in there. Yeah, He's That's a score. tornado touchdown. There's your there's your treat and no tricks, right, Gene? Yeah, that's a great run. Good vision. Good patience. Good push by the O-line. That's a good start by the Tornadoes right there. Good start. Three plays and a touchdown. I'm assuming, you should never assume, but I bet we come out and go for the two points. Coach is giving the play to Kevin Gooch, who took the opening kickoff, uh, got it down to the 30. I don't believe we kicked it all year, Tony. Nope. Here we go, Bryson and shotgun. We got trips out to the right. That's a new formation for the Tornadoes. Throw out there to Kevin Gooch. That's the Chavez. Chavez, Jonathan Chavez. Did he get in? I haven't seen a signal. But they got eight on the scoreboard, so we'll take it. Uh, Tornadoes. It'd be uh, nice if the official would give us a signal there. Yeah, two-point conversion was good. And we got it kind of a rough angle here. Uh, <laughs> They gave us a first and 10, the whole possession that we had. That was awesome. All right. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with Tornadoes football after this break. Your Tornadoes lead 8 to nothing after the first possession. The team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. All right, we're back here in Barnes and Dole. Cole Gregory's about to do the kicking duties for the Tornadoes. Up eight to nothing. Well, they got, got way back back there uh, for them. Um, number tw twelve is that is that number twelve, Braden Bowers? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, they're going to take the ball at the twenty. Um, I didn't see from this angle if it went out of bounds. I guess they could get five for that, right, Gene? Yeah. So if it went out on the fly, the twenty-five yard line. So they're going to take it at the thirty-five. So oh, there we go. Smart Good. play. <laughs> Every time, right? Yep. Ten thirty-eight in the first quarter. Tornadoes up eight to nothing. They had a three-play drive after Kevin Gooch takes the uh, uh, kickoff and takes it to the thirty-yard line, giving the Tornadoes excellent field uh, position. Uh, Panthers break the huddle. Let's put a knot on uh, this running back here and make him know that we're going to hit him all night long. They got a different formation they're showing us. Gene. Going to run a back trap here. The four is open. Lance Beers. He's a shifty running back, and he's got a lot of skill, Gene. Yeah, our defensive end over there is going to have to be prepared for that coming at him there and, and either take on the blocker or take on the runner, one of the two. I don't know how he got out there, but. That was a good play call by them. That's something a new wrinkle. Uh, Bryson Kelly and, and Jackson Mock in on the stop with 10 22 left to go in the first quarter. Panthers break the huddle with a first and 10. Got a closed formation. Same formation. formation. Shotgun takes the out, double handoff. Gives it out to Malone. Malone Give it to him. Running there you go. Good job, Kevin. 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 Kevin and uh, Jackson Mock coming up and, and uh, putting a lick on him. That's a way to fill that gap up. Yep. Come up there and step up and get it. Only a three-yard gain for them, so that's good. They're coming out in that uh, double wing there. I thought I was watching Bristow. Yeah. Couple Pirates there for a little bit. Quarterback hey. draw. Tries to find some room up the middle. He's met with a host of Tornadoes. Then on the stop for the Tornadoes, Kevin Gooch. Uh, also, uh, 
Bowling ball willing. Jackson Mark again. Yeah. Picked up another three yards, so it's going to be, you know, third and about a little, little longer than four or four, I guess. Nine thirty-two in the first. Third and four for the Panthers. Shotgun formation. You look for that running back Malone to get some business, right, Gene? Yeah. Nope. Going to be a quarterback there. draw again. He followed his blockers, did a good job following his blockers, still out there. There's a flag There's down. There's a flag down. It's a good he's thing. Brought down, he's brought down at about the 12. I wonder why he got so open there. He had him by the jersey there about, yeah. the, Jackson, about the 36-yard line, 34-yard line, I'm sorry. Jackson Mott uh, on the tackle for the Tornadoes, but this play is going to come back, right, Gene? Absolutely. So it's going to bring up probably third and short for them again. So we just got to do uh, – a little better job on the edge here. They've been getting outside a little bit, especially with the quarterback. They're going to end up gaining a yard on that play, so it's going to be about third and, well, two yards on it, so it's going to be about a little over a yard and a half here. Uh, Lanfear and um, uh, Myers, a buyer, Buyers are both uh, coming back next year, so they've got a steady group coming back, don't they? A full house backfield here. Here we go. Up the middle, grinding. That's a good job pushing him back. Look short to me. Uh, I think he's got it. They're, they're shutting it down, so forward progress got the first down, Tom. Ouch. I like my eyesight better than theirs. <laughs> that, uh, it was a good play by the Tornado defense, but just it's tough to start, stop someone with that short yardage. So. I'll bring up first and 10 from the 42-yard line of the Tornadoes here. 8.47 left to go in the first. They're running a lot of quarterback action here tonight. Byers. Right right up, baby, in the there, and he's met. Jonathan Chavez in the backfield. <laughs> Man. Good play by Jonathan right there. Made penetration. Jonathan snipped that out quick. Yes, he did. Got low, punished him a little bit. That was a good job, Jonathan Chavez. Good job, son. Center of gravity wins every time. Yeah, that defensive end low. spot's important tonight over here. We got him in second and 12. That's right where we want him. We mm -hmm. want him behind the sticks every chance we get. We thought God would be the quarterback tonight. Um, this kid right here is impressive, too, so I, I don't know if they're going to run him more. Gott's kind of a bigger kid. Throw out to the flats. Lynn Beer. Kevin Gooch on the play for the Tornadoes. He's going to bring up third and eight. Uh, about seven, six, six yards on that. So, you yeah. know, I like my eyes better, but. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you, you, you might like them better. Lion eyes. I mean, I end up being right. So. Lion eyes. <laughs> well, they still got second and ten, so I like them better, well, except for the down. But the yardage I like better. They're coming out on third down. Same formation. They haven't shown this, I don't believe, very much this year, Gene. They're running this reverse action. Yeah, ball on the wall. We got uh, Jackson Bolton back there to make sure he didn't go anywhere with it. We laid the ball on the ground. We, had, we didn't. Didn't have a chance to cover it up, but they got it back, so it's going to bring up fourth and uh, still behind the sticks at fourth and 11. This is where we we're, looks like we're going to go with a four man front because they're going heavy and bunched up offensively, right? Yeah, we, you know, they're, they look like they're going to throw there the ball they go. here. Empty backfield. Two split out to the right. Byers takes it, looks to his right. Got a little pressure there by Bolton. Turned around and oh, that a baby Kevin. Kevin, Kevin right there Gooch on the coverage. Gooch. They sent they sent their best player out of the backfield. Kevin was right with him the whole time, and Kevin made the play. So Drummond's got great field position at the 42-yard line. See if we can't get this thing punched in. Jackson Jackson Bolton got a little heat on him. Um, but he, he was able to get the ball loose down there to uh, Malone. That wasn't the prettiest throw in the world, but it got no. there, you know. And then Kevin does a good good fundamental thing. Gets his hands up. Finding the ball. Finding the ball. If he doesn't find the ball, he doesn't make that play. 
So Drumreich takes over. We got an offside. Uh, I, I didn't think he was going to call it, but he did. It was late. Oh, look at that. It's, um, it's, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Tony, we, the referees wear that pink and have John, pink flags and everything. John Please is telling his teammate um, easily, hey, none of that, right? Comes up there and tells him. Watch the ball. You're right over it. <laughs> you are the nose guard. They're going with the three-man defensive front. Uh, tornadoes. First and five. Mock in motion. Kelly looks out there, throws it out to Cole Gregory. Gets in the action right there. He's a little short of the first down, I believe, Gene. Yeah, he's going to be about a yard short, yard and a half short. But it's good throw, good catch. Jackson mocks out front, blocking, and Cole got all he could, good, all he could on that play. Yeah, he watched the ball in, caught the ball first. <laughs> you got to catch the ball first, right? Yeah. And you can't do anything without fundamentals. It, right? We're second and short. We have second one. I like Gene. being in this position, a second one. Yep. Do about anything in the playbook here, Tone. Chavez split out to the right. Bryson Kelly just takes it. He gonna, it's going to be close. It's going to be really close. I think he got it, but. Depends on where they – Panthers have a – He's finally shutting it down. Panthers have a defensive man down. Coach thinks we got it. Hey, they pointed. We, they got yeah, it. So We got it. Uh, we're going to take a break for an injured player. We hope everything's okay with that young man, but we'll be back in just a minute. You're listening to Tornadoes Football. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling the- 550, left in the first. Inter player for Barnstow was Brock Townley there. I hope he kind of got assisted off. Hope everything's okay with him. He getting, the tr getting some assistance there on the sideline. Number number 27. Yep. Brock, yeah, we hope that everything's okay there. He did walk off under his own power, I mean, with a little help, right? <laughs> yeah, he, he got a lot of help. Yeah, first and 10. Bison Kelly throws it out to Sanchez, and we're going with a lot of those screens that you're seeing this game, right, Gene? Chavez. Trips out to the right, trying to hit the uh, – got the receivers out, blocking in front, leaving the guy behind. Yeah, I mean – We've seen that a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's open there. If we can get a block there, mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's open. Uh, I'm not. I'm not afraid to use our passing game. I mean, we've got the quarterback, we got the wide receivers, we got the linemen, the block. I mean, you know, if we had to pass all the time, I, I could live with that. Right. The only problem with it is it don't make the clock roll like it should. But yeah. Trips to the right. Mock in the backfield with Kelly. Kelly takes it up the middle. BK1 on the loose. I kind of like He's going to the station. He's taking it to the house. Right there, Bryson Kelly on the carry for the Tornadoes. Scores it. I tell you what, you can talk about that passing all you want to, but if you got you got that kid in the backfield and that, that blocking, that's going to be good every time. Willing, Bolton, Gray, and Blowers. Up front, made that initial hole, and then Bryson just weaved his way through it like we talk about so many times. His vision, Gene. Yeah, and his patience is, is amazing. 
We got 14, Tornadoes 14, Panthers 0. Tornadoes line up with Kevin Gooch in the backfield with Bryson Kelly. Hand off to Kevin Gooch. Oh, walks up the middle, ball. walking it in. Walking it in. Bowling and them guys just imposing their will, Gene. Yeah, I didn't get to see all of it, but it didn't look like he got touched, <laughs> Tony. No, uh uh. And uh, the, I'm telling you, Gray, uh, Bolton, Blowers, and Willing just imposed their will on that, on that guy. They punished him up there. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with a kickoff. You're listening to Tornadoes Football on Squirtle. The state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a... All right, we're back here in Barnstall where your Tornadoes are up 16 to nothing with 527 left in the opening quarter. Drumright about to kick off with Cole Gregory doing his normal kicking duties here. Braden uh, Byers back deep uh, for the Panthers. Um, in pregame, uh, Cole Gregory was practicing that uh, kick to about the 30 a lot, wasn't he? Yeah. 25. It looked trying good. to drop it in there. Yeah, it looked real good. Let's see what he does. Yep, there it is. Made it down to, oh, out of bounds. Okay. Yeah, if he'd have touched it inbounds, it would have been their ball where he touched it. But yeah. since it went out, they can tack on five right there from the 35. They're going to get it to 40. Yeah, if they do it right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Again, 5.27 left to go in the first. Tornado 16, Panthers 0. Want to comment on their facilities again. Man, that is really nice. When we came up here in 2016, none of this was here. This is like a brand new facility for them. Yeah, they got it right, Tony, and they're starting at the 40. Yep, we got it right. So we got, uh, we're showing a five-man front on the defensive side of it uh, with three in the three back and a linebacker. Uh, Hand off to Lampier. He might have got a half a yard on that one, Tony. Might have. He got a length of a football. Who do you think that credit? Who do you think was in on that? Uh, Gray. I think it was the whole Hee Haw game. Yeah, yeah, up front. That whole left side. Yeah. Uh, We got we got Bryson Kelly playing uh, defensive end, and Chavez playing defensive end. Right now we've got um, a five-three defense, which I don't think we ran. I think they're trying to make them pass the pass the football, Tony. Right. Stop the run. Well, and that's a great way to do it right there. Coming up, Cole, Cole Gregory. Gregory. Yeah, comes up. Malone, he, Cole got lower than he did. Malone tried to get lower. Yeah. And uh, Cole did a good job, made the tackle. Chase Creekmore coming in for uh, Jackson Bolton, giving him a, a breather. Jackson, um, they're hard-pressed to gain a yard up there in Jackson's area tonight so far. Well, it's third and ten. We got them where we want them here behind the sticks is we just see if we can uh, uh, make them pass the ball and then make a play on it. Get that interception magnet, Jonathan Chavez, to get the ball here. So now they go with uh, two wide receivers to their left. Uh, Malone in the backfield. Man in motion. Comes the option Pitch play. Bryson Kelly. Bryce and all Kelly, over Bryce and Kelly. Out of baby. Bryson. Oh, man. He's excited about it. This, this tornado <laughs> team's pumped <laughs> up. Yeah, hey, uh, <laughs> I was excited about it. Was that a loss of seven right there on that play? Huge. Three forty-nine left to go in the first. Looks like looks like they're going to punt the football here. Um, we got. I'm telling you, what is it? Fourth and four, 15, 16, 17, <laughs> like 18. It's fourth and long. Take whatever it takes. It's a long ways. And and I was watching the punter. He may get a great one off, but before the game started he wasn't he wasn't punting as deep as what uh jonathan chavez is right now so he might get a chance no he got a pretty decent one off he's gonna let it go it's gonna take a barnes doll roll it's gonna Boy, f- did it. flip the field position where the drummer is gonna take over at their own 18 yard line well our defense did what they had to do 
Stopped them. They got the punt off, got a good roll, but we, we'll take the ball over at the 18-yard line and go down and try to score again, Tony. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the goal. That's the plan. Well, so far our offense has done pretty much anything it's wanted to do so far, so we'll see if that continues and see if Barzone makes some adjustments. I tell you, I like I like those uniforms of Barnes Dole. I just can't see their numbers. Oh, I like them real well too. They're really sharp, but it's just really hard to read the numbers. It's like those ones drum right used to have the white on white. That yeah. was horrible. That's illegal now, right? Yeah. <laughs> so tornadoes, uh, Bryson Kelly and the shotgun. We got trips out to the right. Bryson looking. There now he is. He's open. Now he goes deep. He may have a little too much on it. Yep, oh, yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I think Cole might have got hung up there uh, in pass coverage. Uh, but just a just a hair off. That Gary called that earlier. He called that. Yeah. He's That's on him. He knew exactly what we were trying to do. He probably got some of that insider information. <laughs> they they set it up. You know, they set it up, didn't they? Yeah. They went with that little screen out there. He just barely missed him, too, or he, he'd have scored right mm. there. Well, I think that Cole, uh, he's sneaky fast. You know, yeah. he's, he's not he's not a bar. I mean, a speed merchant by any stretch, but he's sneaky fast. Well, he gets open. Yeah, that's all it takes, you know. Um, tornadoes with wide out to the right. Uh, Bison having a trouble with the snap. Regains it really nicely though, and does what he has to do with it. Yeah, we end up losing about a couple of yards on there, but at least we didn't lose possession. So, uh oh, we got. Uh, Chase uh, Willings limping a little bit over there. The number 69 for the Tornadoes. Maybe he'll be able to walk it off for the next play. I don't know. He's a tough young man. So. Yeah, I didn't see him get hurt there, but I seen kind of wince in there. Yeah. If he's anything like any of his family members, they're tougher than <laughs> a boot. That's not going to stop him. No. Just an ankle. He's Here got we go. another one. Yeah, <laughs> trips to the uh, <laughs> Twins to the right. Pump fakes it now. He oh, throws it to Kevin oh, Gooch. Oh, Kevin. And uh, Kevin had a hard time reeling that one in. Hit, him in, bring the, up. hit him in a bad spot. Hit him right in the hands. Yeah. Right? And then he paid the price on top of that. So might as well catch it. <laughs> fourth and, I don't know, fourth and 14, G. Uh, yeah, 13, something like that. But we're going to have to punt it away right here. The uh, Again, <laughs> we never. Maybe the first time they've had a fourth down on the scoreboard. Um Listen, if you believe the scoreboards, anytime. <laughs> I won't rely on it. Mm -mm. Just make sure we get the punt off here. Go down and cover it. Lampier. Lampier down there to receive it. Number four for the Panthers. Get a kick. That a boy. Get a good drum roll. He's just going to let it go. By him letting it go, we, we got an extra 10 yards there, so they'll take over at the, their own 44-and-a-half yard line, so we'll take a quick break. Now let's keep it here. Let's keep it here. We're ready to roll. They're ready to go. Let's just stay here. You know, they're moving pretty fast out there. That was, yeah. that was a pretty good punt, wasn't it, Gene? Yeah, it was. We got a good roll. Uh, it was a lot better than I thought it was going to end up being, but yeah, we need to come out here and stop them right here. So we're, we're seeing a little bit of di a different strategy defensively for the Tornadoes tonight. I mean, we're trying to force them to get out of their comfort zone and not have their identity of run, run, run all the time. There we go. Quarterback takes it, throws it out to the flats. It's complete missed tackle for the Tornadoes. Brought down by Jackson Mock. That's what we talked about in the opening, Tony. They're going to throw that short pass and put you out on an island and make you make the play. And Jonathan wasn't able to make it that time, but they come out and helped him. His teammates helped him that time. But, you know, Jonathan don't miss many of those. So. No. James Johnson on the reception uh, for the Panthers. That's going to bring up uh, second and short. Second about yard and a half, maybe. Again, they got split out to the left. Takes a snap. Rock takes Goss a snap there now. This time, he, the whole intention there was for him to run the ball. They, they were not going to throw it all. No, he's he's the running quarterback, <coughs> I believe, or the passing quarterback. But I don't know what he is because he didn't start, and I, he'd been starting. So right. I, I'd heard that, and I don't know anything about this, but I heard that he had a Tommy John's uh, surgery, and uh, I don't know when. 
but I don't know if that's why that he was. They were playing the other quarterback. I, I don't. I don't know. What well, the we'll see if was. he's going to throw it here in a minute. Right. But uh, <clears throat> I'd make him pass it for sure now. First and ten for the Panthers. Split out to the one. Split out to the left. Got rolls. Looks back. Now Bryson, he throws that's across the Bryson. middle. That's going to be an interception, oh. possibly. Nope. Bryson Kelly played it right. He made sure that he covered the guy first and then went for the ball. Gene? Yeah, and then he went for the ball, and then the, the receiver became the defensive back and knocked it down from him. Uh, so, both players made great play on that. So, 55 seconds left to go. Tornado 16, Panthers 0. Second and 10 for the Panthers. Drum much student section over there giving it the business. We show a three-man front now. Two receivers. God takes a snap, throws it back out there. Going to try to make a man miss. Ooh. That's not going to happen. <laughs> that Cole Greggy come up and, and put, a, put, a, put a lick on him. That's a good job, Cole. Yeah, and he's been steady with that this year, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. And now he's, he's faltered a few times, but... You know, for you the most part, he's he's made the tackles when he needs to, and and uh, this is a big game, and from now on, he's going to need to. So, Chase Creekmore, 48, checks in the game for the Tornadoes up front for Jackson Bolton, giving him a break again. Let's just don't let anybody behind us right here, fellas. Third and third and seven. Got takes it, looks back, pump fakes it, uh, hey, hey, it. takes it. Woo! The sack for the Tornadoes. Out of, that's about an eight-yard loss, Tony. He got got, didn't he? Yes, he did, and we needed to. They only sent two receivers out in the in the pattern there, one <laughs> on the left and one through a fly pattern over here, and he didn't have time to find either one of them. Chase Byers came in there with bad intentions. That's it, going to end the first quarter, Tony, with your Tornadoes leading 16 to nothing. We'll take a break. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a minute. Free quote today. Stream with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon and Deuce Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We okay, all right, we're back here. Start the second quarter. Barnes Dahl in punt formation. High punt. I'm going to get away from it here. Malone's stuck to cover. He's going to take the ball at the 14 uh, yard line for Grumite to start the uh, second quarter with their first possession. Uh, I think it's important for us to put a drive together here and keep their defense on the field a little bit. Yeah, last time we didn't have great field position. They really did a good job of holding us back. So Yeah, we're kind of in the same boat now. So right. let's, let's, let's make sure we get a good push here and a good play call and execute and get out of our end. Uh, a good play call to me is uh, Bison Kelly up the middle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a works all year long, right? Right. Twi tornadoes have twins out to the left. Mock and Chavez. Bison Kelly takes a snap, breaks a tackle. Break the middle, and here we go. BK1 on the on Bison. He's taking it to the, the station. Angle. Got the angle on him. He TD Town, he's got it. He's going he's all the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby Bison. I tell you what, once you think that defensive back has got the angle on him and he just walks away from him, you know, that's 215 pounds running at that kind of speed. That, that's just amazing. So he, he that guy thought he was going to walk him down, couldn't get her done. That uh, he has that little pause when he first gets the snap. He looks at the line. He sees where the crease is and takes it. Yeah, that vision is. We talk about it all the time. He's kind of catching his breath a little bit here, but I'm telling you, 
Gene, was that good for 80 yards? Oh, yeah, well, we started at our 14, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Tornado split uh, Chavez out to the left. Handoff goes to Mock. Jackson Mock. Not much, not much going there, Tony. No. Um, we hit turbulence pretty quick there, and uh, they did a good job of wrapping uh, Jackson up. All right, we're going to take a quick break. You're listening to Drumlight Tornadoes football on Scordal. Your tornadoes are ahead, 22 to nothing, with 11:37 left in before halftime. Care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. All right, we're back here at Barnes Doll America. Your tornadoes are ahead 22 to nothing. Just starting the second quarter. We're about to kick off with Cole Gregory. Braden Byers back deep for the Panthers. Uh, we'll see Cole really plant one down there about the, thir about the uh, 25. That would be sweet. Oh. That one kind of ricocheted off the side of his foot there. We're going to go out about the 42-yard line. Coach did a good job filming that. Yeah, got in front of him, didn't even have to charge <laughs> it. It was hot. Yeah, they're going to tack on the five. It's going to start at the 46-yard line. barnes has got good field position here. Our defense has done a really good job up to this point. Uh, we just need to continue to tackle well and, and – uh, because they're going to continue to pound the football. Even if it doesn't work, they're going to keep doing it. See what you're tackling. They got Run through your tackle. They got Byers in there at quarterback again, Tony. Yep. We've got the five-man or four-man five-man front. They pitch it to uh, Malone. Malone gets a few yards maybe. Gene. Yeah, he, he got hit about a yard, you know, past the sticks there and kind of fell forward and got, got two. Uh... Creekmore, Blyers, and Bolton was all in, in that area. I don't know who exactly made the tackle. but We just keep, we keep jamming it up there, making it hard on him to find a hole. I mean, we got a chance to tackle him to tackle him. So, you know, last uh, couple weeks ago, we talked about your identity as a football team. And when you make them get out of their identity, they get out of their comfort zone. Yeah, they've got Malone submit out over there. He's, he's, he's a pretty good pass receiver, so... There we go. Now he faked it. Now he's coming around here. Out of baby. Power. He gets tripped up. Good play by the Tornadoes. Cole Gregory again out on an island by himself. I can, I can tell that these guys like to run the football with this, this second-team quarterback. So they do a lot of quarterback draw. That time was an outside run by the quarterback. So we got to stay at home in our lanes. Isn't it? You know, you got some versatility there on the defense, so we got, uh, I'll talk about it here in a minute, third and short for the Panthers. They got a lot of people going into one spot trying to get that yard. They had the uh, running backs cave in on that, trying to get the block. I think, they, I think they've got the first down here, yeah. White hat points first down. They had, they sent Malone in from, from the right, slanted him in there to hit nose guard help out with the nose guard so uh 10 10 6 left to go in the quarter tornadoes up 22 to nothing 
and Panthers with a first and ten. I was going to say a while ago that, uh, you know, uh, Chase Creekmore uh, hasn't played nose guard in a game that I know of this year, but now he's playing nose guard. He's very versatile. Yeah, you got to get your best players in the game some way or another. So, so here we go, shotgun. Reverse. Malone on the ground. Great reverse. Yes. And Bolton Jackson with the recovery. Big Dwight forced it. Jackson recovered it. Tornadoes take over. Ever opportunistic defense. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, I don't know who it was, but uh, one of their players trying to get the ball, one of our guys grabbed his hand. Did you see that? Yeah, they tried to run that reverse no, again. <laughs> That's been pretty successful, but this time we snuffed it out. Yeah, and that, Gina, are they trying to run that play due to uh, maybe they think we're aggressive pursuing? Well, they, they, well, they watched Pioneer run it against us last week and score a touchdown. <laughs> Said, yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, right, we're going to we'll put, put that, that in, in the playbook. Tornadoes from the 46. High snap. Bryson Kelly takes a snap. Does it with ease. Hits oh, the corner. He oh, he's may be he's, gone. Oh, he's he got one. Out. Stepped out of bounds. They didn't call it, though, did yeah, they? When that referee's waving his hands like that and stopping at the 30-yard yeah. 30, 30 yeah. line, he stepped out. He, he looked like he was almost in the boundary line. Yeah. In between it. but They're talking to him. The only thing me. stopping BK1 is the out-of-bounds line there. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Dad, damn it. <laughs> we talked about what a great job he does do walking that line, though, when he gets loose. Right. Uh, on the way up here, we were talking about that. Sometimes I think we're going to take a timeout there. I think Barnstall taking a timeout. We'll take it with him. We'll be right back to Barnstall in just a minute. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving... <laughs> We're back here in Barnesdale with 9.30 left before halftime. Tornadoes are leading 22 to, to nothing. We've got a first down and 10 at our at the Barnesdale 30-yard line. we got trips out to the right, uh, empty backfield. Bryson takes a snap from Bolton, cuts it up the middle, and that play hadn't went for anything less than five yards all night. Yep, we'll take it every time. If you can get five yards a snap, you're in business. Gene, Actually, they, he got about seven right there. Gene, when they put those uh, trips out to the right, it makes them respect that pass, but it also opens up a lane for Bryson, doesn't it? Yeah, all those formations are just opening something up. You know, they're just setting something up or opening something up. So, I'll tell you what, the fans here are jacked up and rolling. We got the cheerleaders. We got the band made the trip. Uh, everybody is wired up here. They have to be to stay warm. <laughs> yeah. Second and three for the Tornadoes. Chavez split out to the right. Kelly's got the outside there. Stiff arm. That's a smart play by Bryson. Don't take another hit. Just you go out of bounds and live for another day. And I'm telling you, Bryson don't like that because he likes to deal out the punishment, but that's a smart play. That's right. We've got uh, first down out of the deal, and he knew it. No need of going out there and hit, taking a hit you don't need to have to take. He takes enough of those as it is. Yeah, especially this time of year, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Looking at. Okay, Tornadoes. Chavez split out to the left this time. Kevin Gucci in the backfield. Bryson Kelly. First and 10. Bryson takes a snap. Goes up the middle. Uh, still on his feet. He's down on the knee. Brought down. They're still coming in on him. 
I didn't hear a whistle. They need to start blowing that whistle when the man's on his knees. Yep. He's kind of getting up a little gingery now. He's kind of limping a little bit, but we've seen this before. Oh, yeah. And then he bust, bust a big one on him. I tell you, though, Tony, yep. your favorite play is open here. <laughs> we run that same formation. That slant pattern is wide open. Love it. When we, if, we, if we don't go with Kevin or, or, or Bryson running, then I like to see that slant. That Blyers, Blair, he's, he's there he about Blyers time, too. Bryson Kelly brought down in the backfield. Good uh, open field tackle by uh, number 15 for the Panthers. That's Derek Robbins. He did a good job yep. wrap, wrapping up a big man. Yep, he hit him down there in the thigh area. <laughs> you don't want to hit him up high. No, that was textbook. He, he did a good job of getting, not a lot of people's done that, getting down on his own like that. So, you know, they're pressing the box up here. They're putting a lot of people in the box. We're going to have to we're going to have to throw the ball here in a minute. And Exceptionally good tackle for just a freshman. We got a timeout. All right, we're going to take it with them. Take a quick break. You're listening to Dermite Tornadoes football on Scordle. Clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Stall Stadium, Tornadoes got a third and eight. You are correct, sir. Twins to the right. 7-10 left to go in the quarter. Bryson Kelly takes it, goes off the left side. Brought down pretty pretty fast there. Good defense by the, the Panthers. Uh, number 72 on the play. Uh, Henry Easley on the play for the Panthers. Yeah, he's one of their leading tacklers, so. Yeah, he's going to get in there. Well, it brings up a fourth and five for the Tornadoes here. We hadn't, we hadn't been in this position. We're down here, what, just inside the 10-yard line. Yes, sir. See if we can't uh, get this first down. Kevin Gooch brings the play in for the Tornadoes. We got Cole Gregory uh, and Jonathan Chavez splitting out to the right. Uh, Gooch and Kelly in the backfield. Gooch now in in motion. Kelly oh. takes it. It's wide open. He walks up in there. Man, That's a what great a play call. Great formation. <laughs> motion man sent the, wide, the linebacker out, and he opened it up for Bryson. <laughs> Coach liked it. Coach liked it a lot. You see that? Yeah, he knew it was yes, going to be open once he went and carried him away there. Good play call. Good design. Good execution. What I like about this team is, you know, people are keying on Bryson, and our offensive line just keeps opening up those holes. And it's plays like that that help it, though. We're putting Kevin in, in motion out of the backfield, and it le leads one more man out there. Yeah. And um, then also, when we're not running the ball, or we're, we're having a little difficulty running the ball, we got guys that catch it. Uh, Cole Gregory and Jonathan Chavez. And, uh, uh oh. Well, De delay a game on the offense here. Yeah. That's going to back us up. Might we see a pass here? I don't know. We might. Look down there on the sideline. You see 
two old coaching buddies, old Jody and Jody Boyd and Chris Ellerick. Yeah. Bringing back their old 2000 days down in Yale, America. Coaching yeah, they- Yale together. Stroud together. Now at Big D together. So let's get in and get two or not get in and get zip. Here we go. Bryson Kelly takes it off to the left side. He's looking. He cuts it. He throws it. He's open. Jonathan Chavez in the backside of the end zone just hauls it in like it wasn't nothing. Yeah, defensive back thought Bryson was going to run it. Had to make the choice whether to come up and tackle him or, or cover his man. He decided to come up. Left Jonathan wide open. And a great touch pass by Bryson Kelly on that. 619 left to go in the second. Uh, your tornado's 30. Panthers zero. Yeah, we'll leave it right here. Tony, it just couldn't have been a better start so far for us. I mean, we, we're, we're doing what we want, and, and uh, really we're not getting much resistance for them right now. So, you know, Bonzo's a good team too. I mean, you, you sit there and say they're not. They're 7-1 and one for a reason, and uh, we're just having our way right now. And, and Region beat them by two touchdowns, right, Gene? Uh, no, Wetumpka only did. I oh, mean, yeah, Region yeah. beat him like a tied-up goat. But. Oh, okay. Got him wrong. Got it wrong. Of course, Region's beat a lot of people like a tied-up goat. So, Yes, they have. But I know one team they didn't. And that's wearing <laughs> that white and red with that D on the helmet. No. Nope. It's another game where the defense came up, made solid tackles, and shut the pass down and shut the run down for the most part. Cole Gregory getting ready to kick off. Byers back deep for the There's Panthers. your kick that you were talking about. Yeah. Boy, that's a nice Stay in your nice lane. In there. That a boy, Kevin. There you Good go. Good job. We'll take that. That's much better. Kevin Gooch, Jacob Dietrich. Jackson Mock down there on the tackle. Cole Gregory put that where had a little chai chai rodigies on that. Yeah, thing. I loved it. I loved it. A little checkup. And it kind of froze him too. It kind of yeah. froze Byers for a minute. He didn't know. Yeah, you don't want to get him a head start. I like it that way. So they got Gotti in at quarterback now. So they got Byers out here, wide receiver. So. He's usually their leading receiver, so they're probably going to throw to him. And exactly opposite of what I just said. So <laughs> they did throw a short pass on that side, though. Right, right. Who we got out there on the coverage, Gene? That was Jonathan Chavez on the tackle there. Yes, sir. See, most times, you know, he makes the tackle out there on the individual play, uh-huh. open field. I'll tell you, for a young man that hadn't played a lot of football, Jonathan Chavez looks like he's played his whole life. So He does. You know, he just soaks it all in. He's a good athlete, good kid. Makes it look easy. And he has a GPS for that football when it's in the air. A little trouble uh, getting the snap by the Panthers. Still make up a decent gain. Uh, Jackson Mock on the tackle. I say decent. He got the first down. <laughs> it looked like he was rumbling, stumbling, bumbling, and nobody from Germany came up here and lit him up. Coach is letting them know, too. Just decent. You know, he was backing up. Somebody needs to come <laughs> up and deliver a blow there. Yeah, we uh, – Don't you – everybody get them decent runs like that. Yeah. yeah. Eight yards for first down. 5.15 left to go for a half. Got first and ten for the Panthers. They got a guy split out to the left. Tornadoes with a four-man defensive front. Handoff up the middle. Malone. Brought down. Good defense by the Tornadoes. No gain from Malone there. Jackson Bolton. Uh, so far, we've done exactly what we needed to do. Bottle him up. Owen Gray. I, I, I could give credit to three more on that tackle because they were all right there, you know. Flowers, Creek Moore. This is what we got to have. We got to have uh, put them in bad field position, put them in a bad spot, make them do something they really don't want to do. Yeah, so here like we go. pass the football, and that's Gott's going to be the one back there needing to do that. 
Second 10, quarterback rolls to his right. Tries uh, to cut it up, but he's met immediately. Tornadoes blew that up. Chase Bryson. Bigmore and Bryson Kelly. Yep. They sniff that out. Bison turned him in, and then Creekmore said, not to, not anymore today. So he followed mm -hmm. the play and made a good job. Bryson did a good job turning it in. So that's going to bring up third and 13. Uh, once again, we don't want them to get behind us here. Just keep the ball in front of them. <laughs> Split right, split left. Quarterback takes a snap. Looks, Byers lets it go. Short of it, short is the receiver on the play. Uh, Johnson out there on the coverage for the Tornadoes. Byers was giving him some pressure, and he let it go before he really wanted to and, and uh, threw it about four yards short of the receiver. It's not something they're real good at, but it's something we want them to have to, to have do. To do. So, yeah. Cole Gregory out there covering Johnson on the play. Fourth down. Looks like punting situation for the Panthers. And we don't have anybody back. We, think, so. we don't have anybody. We're ready to take that where, wherever it goes. Make sure they kick it. They do. Good punt. Good w punt against the wind. Wind's catching it. Yep. Got it taking a tornado roll. They'll kill it at the 30 yard line of drum right. So that's where they'll take over. Three of 10. 304 left to go in the half. I, I, I tell you this, Tony, I said, if we can go down here and score before halftime, that would be big. Mm -hmm. Put more pressure on them. And not, at least, you know, there's a lot more on them probably now, but that would be a little bit more. Well, I mean, we've had outstanding um, plays by our running backs and, and our skilled position players, but what's, what's made that happen initially is that crease that the offensive line has provided. And uh, – they have really done a great job tonight of winning that, winning that battle up front thus far. Yeah, I mean, we we talked about it in the opening that they, they have to control the line of scrimmage, and so far you're right, they've done that. We've got a little bit of a different formation for us. We've got doubles, but they're real tight. We're gonna get a timeout from Coach here, I believe. He might not liked what he's seen out there on the defensive lineup or something for that. Oh, they're going to give us a delay game penalty, so oh. must not have got the timeout out before then. So that'll back us up five, so we'll be first and 15 at our own 25-yard line. That's one thing we've done up to this point, Tony. We've eliminated the dumb turnover or dumb penalties, I mean. Right, right. And the, the further you go down the road in the playoffs, the the more that's going to haunt you. Yeah. And so far, you know, we've cleaned it up from last week, so that's that's a good sign. So we break the huddle, come back, same form, same formation. Chavez and, and Cole Gregory out to the left. Bryson Kelly keeps it. He's knocked out of bounds. Um, short gain on the play for the Tornadoes. Got on the, on the play for the Panthers. Also out there for the Panthers. Number 71, uh, John, please. <clears throat> now, we don't have to get in a great big hurry here. Let's just, of course, he went out of bounds there, but we need to keep that clock running and, and get out of here winning the first half. That's right. 259 left to go in this half. Tornado second down. Gooch in motion. We got Cuts it up. Bryson Kelly looks. Oh, we got a false start on yeah. Jonathan, I believe. Yeah. He kind of flinched over there on the in the slot. Good call, Gene. Yeah, he he was chomping at the bit to get gone there and couldn't hold his water. <laughs> kind of like a kind of like me at our age, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> that cost us five more. And only took two seconds off the clock, so. Now it really wasn't supposed to start. It should take it, it off. Shouldn't have took two <laughs> seconds. No. So we really got a benefit there, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Just make sure we get the snap off. In Twenty-five seconds and get that clock rolling again. Same same formation, but they're bringing them out here a little further, wider to the 
sideline this time. Second and 20. Gooch in motion. Pass out there to Cole Gregory. It's received. Colts fights for some yards. He got all he could out of it. Um, good open field tackle uh, by uh, Lanfear and uh, got, I believe. Is that right, Gene? Yeah, we keep we keep running that play, and and uh, there's a million options we could do off that thing. We could run a fake. We could run a double pass. I mean, there's all kinds of things, but don't really need to other than just run that clock. Got 2.26 before the half. Don't forget at halftime we've got uh, special guest Eddie Reed will be up here talking about the Drum Right Quarterback Tor Drum Right Tornado Quarterback Club. You got it. Easy for me to say. Yeah. So uh, Cole Gregory uh, Chavez split out to the right. Blitz. Uh, Kelly takes a snap, looks to throw, throws it up over the top. Right. Almost intercepted. Uh, pass intended for Kevin Gooch. Um, that, that's not a good decision by Bryson. He probably should just ate that one and. Live to yeah. play another day and keep the clock running. Lance Fears out there on the coverage uh, for the Panthers. And, you know, he looked like he hesitated. looked like he thought about it. Then um, may have got bumped. Um, but looked like he hesitated for just a minute before he let it roll. Well, you know, when, you, when you're a playmaker, you think you can make all kinds of plays. So sometimes you just. 90% of the time he does. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> so Chavez split out to the left. Um I'm going to punt this one away, Tony. And we got uh, Kevin Gooch out there with him. Here we go. Should go out about the 38-yard line, 39-yard line. You got it, 39. So Barnes will take over at their own 39-yard line with a minute 53 left before the half. Both teams got two timeouts. Tornadoes 30, Panthers 0. I think it's important for our defense to come out here and uh, hang an O here the rest of this half. That would send a message. Make sure that we're still heads up in the game. I'm telling you, I've been involved in some of these games where you think 30's enough and end up not being near enough. <coughs> so, Well, we were down down against uh, Region Prep, wasn't we? 20 to 8. Yeah, half. at halftime. I mean, mm -hmm. that's not 30 to nothing, but it's. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Tornadoes take a timeout. We'll be back. You're listening to Drum Mike Tornado Football on Squirtle. Stream with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Squirtle.tv. Find out more at Squirtle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners, delivering measurable results for new... All right, we're back here at Barnstall. Barnstall's got a first and 10. Just inside their 40-yard line, Tom. Right. I believe Byers is a quarterback, isn't he, Gene? No, I think that's got there. It, it is. It's got. Got's rolling, looking. He's throwing it deep. Throws it up. Turn around, Chavez. Oh, there it goes. Oh, Jonathan, stay on it. So he recovered it. Did he? Is they going to call that a catch? It's going to be. A, a, if 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 I think they're going to call an interception, then they're going to call a fumble. Oh man, they're bringing it all the way back. Oh, we got to go to the replay on that one. What? Are you, what? <laughs> so in high school. I thought he took a couple of steps myself, but you know he made have a couple a, of have a couple possession. Of coach, coach thinks that we got a problem. <laughs> coach doesn't like that. He thinks what we were thinking, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I believe coach is right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think he made an interception. He secured it, ran two steps, fumbled, then recovered his own fumble. So we don't have we don't have that luxury of being able to replay it. 
No. Now tomorrow when you watch it, you can. When do I go that. home tonight, I watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you can do that. That's going to bring up uh, second and ten. Second and ten. Uh, out of baby Cole Gregory. Cole Gregory answers it right there. That Cole Gregory every time he takes the challenge and wins it. <laughs> Good job, Cole. Yep. Out on an island all by himself. He's giving some kind of signal. I'm gonna have to ask him about that. I don't know what that is. Right. Um. Oh. And we got him at third down now. Uh, third and long. It's the way you like to see it. They got trips out to the left. Uh, got is still at quarterback. Malone in the backfield with him. Malone is a constant threat at running back. He oh, they're going to run the wheel. Back. He's got a little time. He throws it. Nice job. Back and there. He's got it right there. Oh. oh. Hey, we haven't seen Jonathan uh, drop two balls consecutively. Not on the interception year. anyway. Uh, no. He usually he's, sucks them right on up. I believe he has six on the year, doesn't he? Yeah. At least. He's got more than the whole Barnstall team has as a group. Uh-huh. So, yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, he's had eight right there if he catches both of those. And we've seen him make fantastic catches. Yeah, I mean, and he's not out of position. He's right there waiting on it. No, too, so. he's there. So they're going to call a quick timeout. Probably going to have to set up a punt there, but uh, we'll, we'll take it with them. We'll be back with Tornado Football after this. I think 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play. And All right, we're back here in Barnesdall. It's going to be fourth and ten for Barnesdall. Looks like they're going to go for it right here, Tony. 57 seconds left to go before the half. They got got at quarterback, and I believe that's – Malone's in the backfield. Is it, is it Malone? I couldn't yeah. tell from this angle. Byers is out there, their leading receiver. We got a four man front. We're showing blitz. Here he comes. Mox blitzing. He got pushed in the back. Out of he still got the quarterback. He throws it up. And uh, I Get think on he the was ball. down already. I, I'm pretty Doesn't sure matter. The we got it down. We we'll got take it. it. We'll take it. If they don't want to call him down, we'll take that. Yeah, I mean, several things were issue there, but. The final of it was we'll take the ball first and ten at the Barnstall 30-yard line. Right. It was blown up from the start. Yeah. And uh, our <laughs> D-line made a good job of getting in there and forcing him to make that, was, that play. It was a great call on a blitz. That blitz, Mock came in, and the guy uh, pushed him in the back but pushed him right into the, uh, the play. The quarterback, yeah. <laughs> that was a good timing for the blitz there, too. Yeah. We've, we've seen to do that a lot here lately, timing that just right. 45 seconds. Let's see if we can get one on. we got trips going out to the left. Empty backfield with Bryson We've only Kelly. got two people covering us here. Yeah, oh, two, no. two people out in coverage. That's a good odds, right? Still. Dean? Still. Uh, Bryson Go takes the snap from Bolton, looks out there, throws out to Kevin Gooch on the reception. Kevin turned on the burners. That'll maybe oh, Kevin. Man, he was walking that line, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Johnny Cash would be proud of him. Yes, he was. I heard that song as he was running there. <laughs> Kevin's... Got the ball, good throw by Bryson. Got a good block from the outside there and got all he could and got out of bounds. We don't have to use a timeout. We still use them timeout, save them two timeouts. Yeah, it was Gooch on the loose for a little while. Yeah, he. One more I, yard, I think if he'd had, if the field had been one <laughs> yard wider, yeah. I think he'd went to the house with 41 seconds left to go before the half. I probably, the goose is going to get loose some more. The he Gooch is. For he this is. year's out, maybe even this game. Cole Gregory. Jonathan Chavez and Kevin Gooch trips out to the left. Ke uh, Bryson Kelly, empty backfield, takes a snap from Bolton, throws out there to Kevin Gooch. Oh, Kevin, he had to, he had a hole there, and he's seen it before he caught it. He must have been listening to us. We're yeah. bragging on him. Man. Yeah. I tell you, man, it was he was there. He, if he catches that, 
Yeah. And turns up. Now listen, he's going to split them guys. You know, he knows he should have probably <coughs> caught it, but you know, they yeah. got NFL guys, college guys do the same thing. So that's right. I mean, he's just a high school kid. You know, he's going to make a few mistakes. Shake it off and see what you do the next play, young man. All right. With his with his mental toughness, he's going to want to. He's going to want that back. Knowing coach like I do, he's probably going to throw it right back to him. Here we go, right there. Chavez gets it. <laughs> tries to turn it up. Oh, gets hit a little out of bounds. Out of bounds. And we're, we're going to get laid off. off. Yes, that's going to be payday. There's a flag. Dirty laundry. Yeah, and, uh, pink dirty laundry. Number 24, Malone, one of their running backs. Uh, and, and linebacker pushed him out of bounds. Yeah. He must like to give rather than receive. <laughs> We're going to have to go half the distance to the goal. I don't know where he went out of bounds at. Looks like the 15-yard line, so we'll probably be going to the seven and a half. Give us a first down and goal. We like that kind of party. Yeah. 30 seconds left to go before the half. Tornadoes. Ball's out of bounds. We don't need to use a timeout. First and goal. This angle, did you say the five, Gene? A seven and a half. Yeah. Better eye than me. <laughs> well, I just went from the yardage, so. You know how. I... Yeah, I know. You can't hear or see. <laughs> yeah, but I, I always go to the advantage <laughs> of the tornadoes, so it's going to be on the five-yard line for me. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Timeout. We'll be back. 30 seconds left in the half. See if the tornadoes can go score here. You're listening to Dermite Tornadoes on Scordle. Maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. I'd kill for All right, we're back here at, at uh, Barnstall Stadium. Tornado's got a first and goal at the seven and a half yard line of Barnstall. We've still got uh, two timeouts left. Barnstall's out of timeouts, so. We, we can do anything we want to here and, <clears throat> and, and uh, be able to shut the clock down. I want to score out of this deal. we got 30 seconds left before the half. So we got trips out here to the left like we had. Bison's looking that way. Throws it out there to Jonathan Chavez. Again, I think they're – we may be setting up a, a Bryson Kelly run to yeah, the right. let's just keep <laughs> on setting something up. That's good to throw it. Yeah, I think we're down a lot. Down about the three now. Got 25 seconds left to go. Time is not an issue. Thank goodness. Tornado fans are fired up. We got Chavez splitting out to the right. Kelly takes a snap, looks right, cuts it back up inside. Still on his feet, pushing it. He's in. Far side officials got his we arms finally got in the a call. Air. Did we yeah. finally get the okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Bryson Kelly was just willed his way in there. He wasn't going to take no for an answer. Yeah, I think he was in five minutes ago, and they just. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see the referee run in there and signal, but. <clears throat> yeah, um, there was no telling when he actually got in, um, or how long he'd been in there from this angle. Yeah, but, that's, um, that's part of high school football. You know, you don't have enough officials. See we, don't have, we don't have seven or eight cameras. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh -uh. to look at either. That's true. <laughs> Talked to my friend Justin Cargill this week. He said if he couldn't make it to the game, if he got off work too late or something, he's going to be watching us on Scordle. So, Justin, I know you're happy with his outcome. And we we, we are pulling for you guys tomorrow, there too. It throws, there it is. Got the two-point conversion. Uh, coming across, Chavez cutting across the middle, Gene. Yeah, crossing pattern open, and Bryson hit him right on the, on the numbers. 
Tornadoes 38. Uh, Panthers zero. And uh, yeah, Justin Cargill and, and the DAA. Uh, uh, fifth and sixth graders. Tornadoes, fifth and sixth grade. They got a big game coming up in Yale. So if you guys can go out there and support them tomorrow, that'd be great. Um, those guys are playing for the championship. Yep. We got a bunch of young kids coming up. We got a bunch of good players in every age group. So if you get a chance to go short distance to Yale tomorrow, cheer them on. Please do so. <laughs> I bet there's some of them guys watching these guys out here tonight, don't you? Oh, I'm some of the sixth, fifth and sixth graders? No doubt about it. Or they're <laughs> down there in the end zone playing football. One yeah, of them that's what we've been doing. <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you what, uh, great showing so far. Well, our fans coming to the game tonight, um, one of the longer trips we're going to make. Um, here's, some, then, here's some banjos when you're up here on the way home. <laughs> and then uh, – the players and the coaches didn't disappoint. No, we got thirty-eight I, to zero. I, sorry to walk on you there, Tony. No, but go. Yeah, it just, it's just, I'm glad the focus and everything <clears> was, you know, they didn't take anything for granted. and They came out ready to play, and uh, I was super glad to see that. It's not over, mind you, but no, we, we're we're making progress. Oh, Cole gets a good kick. Stay in there. Stay touch in there. Him, touch him. Touch him. Touch him. Touch it. Touch it. Oh, oh. what a great play by him. Yeah, those Barnstall kids made. Well coached. At Lamphere and uh, number fifteen, number 16 there. Yeah, 16. <clears throat> Blaine Miller. Sophomore there you got it. Back. There yeah. you go. They got, a, they got a bright future up here with a lot of young players. Yeah, they're, and, I think their year's coming next year. So I, I know that they're probably feeling down right now, but they got a lot to look forward to next year for sure. So if the Tornadoes go on to win this game, they – they wrap up number one spot in the district, right? Uh, absolutely. First we'll, time since 1964. Yep, we'll talk about that. I was born that year, Tony. Mm -hmm. That was 59 years ago. That was my football number. <laughs> I think that's why I picked it. <laughs> I'm on the district, can't, didn't get it. <laughs> Handoff goes to the running back, Malone. Malone, we haven't seen much of him this half. That's Owen Gray making the tackle. Good job there by Owen. Big time play by Owen Gray. He's been in a lot of them this year. Hey, and there's no use going in the half, letting them score right before nope. the half. And they're not going to play oh, the that. They're not going to run another play. All right, let's go. We're fired let's up. These guys are running up there. <clears throat> I'll tell you, this is a good <laughs> half of Tornado football. <laughs> well, we're going to we're going to take a little break, and we'll be back with uh, the leader of the Drumlight Tornadoes quarterback club, Mr. Eddie Reed. Your Drumlight Tornadoes are leading at the half, 38 to nothing. We'll be back in a few minutes here at Barnsdall. Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. high school streaming service scordle.tv find out more at scordle.com slash stream at maples nixon diesel horse we've helped a lot of people and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend and as a friend we've got your back always we understand what you're going through being lawyers is what we do but it's not all that we are we care We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. 
delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years, has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. All right, we're back here at Barnsdall uh, on the campus of Barnsdall High School. Uh, my special guest tonight for the uh, Drumlight Tornadoes uh, quarterback club president, Mr. Eddie Reed. Eddie, I hear you're doing some good work there and uh, got some good help, and, and I'm glad you get to come up here and talk a little bit about it. Man, I appreciate you guys so much. Sorry I got no voice. We've been screaming a little bit tonight. I've been hearing you. Yeah, uh, yeah. you know, we, we've got a lot of people, great people coming out. Um, sponsoring these boys, uh, donations for food every Thursday night when we feed these boys. Um, but, yeah, it, it's coming together. It's coming together. Every, everybody's coming out and supporting. Everybody is uh, working hard to make sure this happens. Um, you know, I, they say I'm the president, but the truth is my wife's the president. Exactly. She does everything. Yeah. So. You're a smart uh, man. <laughs> but it is the truth. Honest to God, it's the truth. But, you know, we got we got a lot of unsung heroes, too. Uh, DAA, they do so much for us. Uh, our little guys, you know, uh, shout out to them tomorrow playing for the for the championship. But they, uh, they do a lot for us. Their parents come through for us all the time. They help us out a lot in concessions and field work and everything else. And, it's so great to be a part of this whole thing, you know, and, and having everybody as one. And, and that, that's been our dream since me and my wife came into this. So, Well, I can tell you this. I hear nothing but good things about you and your wife and, and all the things that you do for drum ride and all these kids. And, and uh, it's just amazing that when you mention everybody coming together, I mean, that, it has to happen that way. I mean, two people can't do it by themselves. No, that, that's true. They always say, you know, it, it takes a village to raise a kid. And, it, I mean, it, it takes a whole town to raise a football team. And I'll tell you what, we got, we got from leadership from the top, you know, our superintendent, Angela, is fantastic, uh, down to Jason Bray as principal and our coaching staff and all these players. And, you know, they're, they're teaching these young men how to be men, which is a great thing. Um, the other thing that's awesome too is, like I said, just the support. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're we're traveling. We're tra- We're we're in Barnsdall right now. Our stands are full. Theirs are empty. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's a great thing. It's a great thing. I'm super proud of these boys. I can't thank y'all enough too. I mean, you got you guys bring it live to the people that can't make it, which makes it special as well. Um, it, th- like I said, this is just a great thing to be a part of. Yeah, this, this has been a special season from start to hopefully it will continue through the playoffs and, uh, and snowball for years to come. Because, you know, I'm, I'm an alum, and I'm not going to tell you where I graduated, but we're not a powerhouse in football. We, we've, we've done good in years past, and then we'd be down four or five years. But I think with the coaching staff we have and the kids and the excitement that these seniors have brought for the future – I mean, it's just amazing to watch. It is. It is. And, you know, the other thing, too, that's really cool about it is how involved uh, Coach Elric makes sure that, you know, our high school team and staff is involved with DAA as well. Like I said, just one. You know, we want to be one. So these kids, you know, they show up to the games and they they see the, the big boys running around. And that's that's the dream for them is, hey, one day I get to wear that jersey. You know, one day I get to – be a part of this and you know we we hope to build this bigger we're going to 11 man next year we ain't going to stop we're just going to keep rocking so it's going to be a little more difficult but you know nothing easy about it we're just going to have to go do it and uh, it can be done and uh, we're heading in the right direction for sure so Eddie I, I know I had to force you to come up here sometimes because oh, yeah. you don't like to hear yourself talk. Or, <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to tell you something. We're proud of you. We're proud of your wife. We're proud of the things that you've done, and especially for these kids. Um, it's all about them. If you if you do it about them, then you're not going wrong. So That is 100% the truth, and that's why we got involved in this. Um, you know, th- these kids are special to us. We, we got an open-door policy at my house. It don't matter. If you smell the food, you come eat. And... You know, I used to get mad at my wife and said, why you buy five place settings, you know, of four? 
we don't we don't have 20 people in our family and she said well we may have 20 kids over for dinner and i said yeah you know what you're right so but like i said it, it it's a special thing um there's a bunch of parents too i wish i had a list that i could tell them thank you um that just show up i mean they show up they we don't even have to ask for help it's like they need it or they know we need it you know and uh we're we're super appreciative of them but it is like you said it's 100 percent about the kids and that that's why we love doing it yeah well we appreciate you again and and before i go i'll let you comment on it as well but we're going to have that brown great uh, groundbreaking monday at at uh three o'clock gary the groundbreaking noon noon at the elementary gymnasium for the groundbreaking for the new activity center so let's uh make sure we uh, if you want to show up to that um, and again we want to thank the community for voting that in uh, it's something that's been needed to do be done in drum right for years and years and we appreciate the vision of the superintendent the school board uh, the coaching staff principals community everybody involved to get that done and we're excited to get it done It'll take about a year or so to get it completed before we play our first game or have graduation or whatever but we're looking forward to that so um eddie again thank you thank we appreciate you appreciate you hey i gotta give a shout out real quick before i it. get off here i gotta say hello to my son and my daughter-in-law out in california my grandbabies lena ray ray papa loves you i love you well i don't know being a grandparent we're grandparents and I don't know how you'd go without seeing them all the time, you know what I mean, other than Zoom. and. Hey, thank God for FaceTime. There you go. Thank God for FaceTime. My, my son's actually traveling uh, up here next week to come surprise his brother watching Olive. That's going to be special. If everything goes the way I hope it does, I hope he gets a lot of playing time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're hoping for, too. But, you know, I, like I said, these seniors, you know, they deserve the world. They have worked their tails off for this. And I, I just I couldn't be more proud to just watch them just continue this journey and just keep doing, you I, know. I don't I, I, I don't think they knew exactly what they were capable of. And now they know, you know, they're capable of that in basketball, baseball, life, whatever they do. I mean, they're great young men. They're a good example for the young kids. Um, it's just a perfect season so far. So we it want is. to continue it. It is. It is. But, yes, definitely – like I said, I appreciate you all very much for this opportunity. Thank you to anybody that's watching at home that supported the quarterback club and these boys. We need it. Continue supporting. We thank you guys very much. Drum right strong, baby. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, we'll be talking about, you know, the playoffs and stuff here at the end of this game before we, before we sign off. But get your shirt. Get ready because we're going to go to the playoffs and we're going to make some noise. So we're not just going to be going. We're going to win that gold ball. So, um, again, thanks, Eddie. And we'll be back with the start of the second half. You're listening to Drum Light Tornadoes Football on Squirtle. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech.
Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. high school streaming service scordle.tv find out more at scordle.com slash stream at maples nixon diesel horse we've helped a lot of people and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend and as a friend we've got your back always we understand what you're going through being lawyers is what we do but it's not all that we are we care We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. All right, we're back here at Barnstall. Uh, we got the minute and 23 left in the mandatory warm-up, and uh, your tornadoes are ahead 38 to nothing if you're just joining us. Um, it's been a good half for the tornadoes. With everything that's gone right our way, needed to go that way, has gone that way. So everything we talked about in the opening has come to fruition, and we've and uh, it couldn't have worked out any better. Tony, what do you think? Uh, ditto what you said. No, it's uh, they come out. Uh, they come out of the locker room and they had some kick in their step, like they wasn't done yet. So that's what you want. Gene, tell them a little bit about the mercy rule. Well, and as most of you know, we've done it quite a bit this year. But once you get ahead by 45 points in eight-man football, no matter what it is after halftime, then the game is over. So you know. I, you know, now that we're 38 to nothing, I wouldn't mind getting those 46, go to the house, get healed up, get ready for Olive next Thursday, and uh, get ready for the playoffs after that. Just remind everybody that uh, next next week's game is on a Thursday night at Olive against uh, the Wildcats. Uh, we'll be coming to you somewhere at the, at the Olive facility, don't know where yet, but we'll, we'll come up with that. We may be in the back of my truck or your or, truck. Yeah, back of one of our trucks. Yeah. So we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll bring it to you. I even thought about maybe trying to get down on the sideline and giving a different view, uh, but we'll, we'll talk about that. But we're definitely going to bring the game to you uh, next week, next Thursday, kickoff at 7 with a pregame at 645, as always. Tony, we just need to come out here on defense and – not not fall asleep keep playing like we have been playing on defense and uh it would be wonderful to pitch a shutout here tonight there's Smokey the bear gary you know we had one in oklahoma Smokey the bear well he ought to have yeah. his fire extinguisher out because we were on fire in that <laughs> first half fire he disappeared <laughs> yes he, he did. didn't come out but uh um, no yeah uh listen uh we we score seven we score eight points and and we're packing up, correct? Gene? Uh, no. That'd be forty six. We score if we score eight. Yeah, that would be forty six, but we only need forty five. <laughs> well, I know, but that's that's not going to happen in this in this game. We're not going to kick an extra point. No, but. <clears throat> 
So if we do score, we got to have that two point. <laughs> hey, I, I want them to get, I want them to get out of this game healthy, like you said, healthy, and you know, go to all of, get, do what you got to do, take care of business, and then now start just, looking at the playoffs. Just so you know, you know, we we still got to, we still got to beat all of by more than 15 points next week. So, you know, we can't we can't just be satisfied with this game. You know, Gary Todd told me earlier, and I agree with him 100%, you know, you, you got to keep pushing forward. It's not the destination you're going to. It's what's past that, so we need to keep going. Cole Gre- Gregory's going to be doing the kicking and, and uh, for the Tornadoes start this half. Oh, went out to 40. Um, now, if we win this game tonight, we've got – there is no ties, right, Gene? We win the we win the district. Well, if we lose next week, there'll be a tie again. If we <laughs> win tonight and then we beat Olive by any points, uh, we're we're first place in the district, correct? Yes, we can we can win by one point as long as we're undefeated. Right. I guess we got a freebie there. That's good. Mm-hmm. Let's try to kick, kick it a little, little further deep. A little bit more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit more to to your right. I don't like giving them five. Oh, we're going There's to run the kick. Oh, bum, 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 bum. Got this just a little loose. late. Still we're down there scrapping. We got five tornadoes and one panther down there. But I think he's going to come up with it. Oh, we got it, I think. We have it. We're holding the ball in our hands. So number that means- three. Number three, Reed. He come up thinking we had it. <laughs> yes, it is our ball. We're signaling our ball. Mark. Jackson Mock. Number five comes up with it. I'm telling you, if you've ever been in one of those piles down there, <laughs> you know what could happen. So, Yeah, it, they had one guy down here. We had four or yeah, five. I like our uh, chances that way. Yep. That's important to keep playing until you hear the whistle and tell, somebody telling you stop, secure that he, football. He did have it for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Panthers had it for a moment. Tornadoes break the huddle. We got Jonathan Chavez split out to the left. Kevin Gooch in the backfield. Bryson Kelly handoff goes to Kevin Gooch. It's Gooch on the loose for a little while. He gets it down to about the 40. You need to save that for he gets really loose. Yeah, I know. But, you know, he could have broke it. I, I, was, I was doing an early prediction there. I, huh? I thought when he broke that one, I had that arm tackle, I thought he was going to go. Well, like <laughs> I said before, he's gonna he's broke some, and he's going to break another one here for long. Got about six yards there on that carry. I'd like to see him give Blowers the ball right here on a little tight end play here. He hadn't seen the ball yet. Last yep. week he was on fire with that thing. And he does whatever they ask him to do, too. Great teammate. Second, five. Kevin Gooch gets it still on his feet, fighting a whole host of Panthers. And close to a first down. I think he got it, Tom. Yeah, I think he did, too, from this angle. It looks good. And man, that Kevin was. going to chase Blowers there. He came in, ran a little block there to directing traffic. And, and cleared Kevin for the extra yardage to get the first down. I'm telling you, that that was a great effort by Kevin Gooch and the Tornadoes to pick up that first down and keep this drive going the way we want it to go. 11-6 in the third quarter, Jonathan Chavez puts out to the left. Bryson Kelly off to the left side, gets enough for the first down, right, Gene? Yeah, I'm going to talk a bit about Jonathan there. Jonathan was out on the edge blocking and uh, he had him blocked up and the kid got away from him and Jonathan did the smart thing and let him go. Didn't hold on to him and Bryson got the yardage he needed and we didn't get a penalty. So that's a good job for by Jonathan. Smart football right there. I guess that's why I'm no good at golf. They say uh, 90% of it's in your mind the other 10% is too and, and, and Jonathan used his mind and said hey, I got enough he turns, I'm not going to touch him. Yeah, that's right. you got to trust your teammate. 10. Bryson Kelly off to the left again. Uh, arm tackle's not going to do it. He walks the line. BK1. Oh. oh. They said he stepped that way here at the 20. What, the 20? Uh, I, man, I wish we had replay. I did not think he stepped out. You can't see me sitting right next to you. you I can see that see red that. line. I mean, that's pretty evident. <laughs> Let's see, he's got white shoes, and that's a red line, and there's green grass, kind of. And uh, Bryson, white shoes, Kelly. 
Well, he hadn't had to be Machine Gun Kelly tonight. He hadn't had to air it out. They've done it on the ground. Uh, we'll save that for somebody else, right? Yeah, exactly. Do whatever you got to do to get that victory. Second down and five for the Tornadoes. Chavez put out to the right. They're showing blitz. Ah, now they're going to call an offsides against the Panthers. Maybe they showed more than blitz, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Got a little bit. Answers. Once you get in that neutral zone, any part of your body, it's it's over. It's not like. We can't we can't tell from here, but that's good for a tornado first and ten. Should be. Uh, Gene? Yes, it is. Um, do you think that he did that with a snap? Uh, the call? Oh, no, the, the cadence? No. Yeah. I think they, just, just, they were just going. Yeah, they were trying to blitz, and they were trying to guess and guessed wrong. 440, uh, 10.46 left to go in the third. Tornadoes 38, Panthers 0. Uh, Chavez split out to the right. Handoff goes to Kevin oh, he's Gooch. Got some he's up the field. middle. He, he is loose, tackles. Tony. He's rolling. He's loose. Gooch on the loose. And that, that'll score the touchdown. Yeah. And now you get to do your math. You do the <laughs> Two-point well, conversion right here sends us home with the district champion. The, last, the party is over. Seems that all good things must end. Remember Dandy Don? I do. Long time ago on Monday Night Football, Hard Cosell and Dandy Don. And Frank Gifford. And Frank Gifford. All right, Coach, whatever you got in your bag, this is the one we want. Yeah, we want the two. We want the two so we can get this district championship. I'm saying if you're watching at home, be with us right here so we can go score and then celebrate with us all here. Take that hand off up the middle and roll Bryson out to the right. They're going to call a timeout here. They're thinking this is as important as we do. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to stay here with them. Um, you know, we'll, we n never talk about the next step until we clear the one in front of us, but, you know, it's hard to not talk about the district championship will be the first since 1964. Tony and I both know knew Lloyd Ernst. He was our coach when we were in high school. Uh, great, great man, turn. and yeah. uh, you know, we're happy that we've got that. And we miss old coach, but he'd be smiling right now. You know, oh man, be happy for Drumright. Coach I'm not going to say Drumright Nation, but that's right. I'm going <laughs> to say Drumright Tornadoes. So, well, he. He had opportunities to go other places, and, and he stayed in drum right. And uh, he w he went to high school here. He played here, and he coached here. And uh, he le he has a le legacy. I mean, um, Coach Ernst uh, instilled and believed in fundamental football, and he was my offensive line coach and, and, and defensive coach in high school. So, I mean, you'd yeah, I mean, it's it's a blessing to have known him and. And these kids are going to mark their own uh, legacy in Drummond High School football. Yeah. Give somebody else a chance to shoot at what they what they are about to get. Hopefully, we got twins out to the right. Bryson in the empty backfield. Bryson takes a snap, and there's no delay in that. He's right up the middle, and that is the end. And that's the ball game. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in 59 years, and what? Yeah, go ahead. Your drum ride tornadoes are district champions with a 46 to nothing victory over Barnstall here tonight. Important thing about this right now, we're seeing that we don't have any injuries, and we got out of this game, uh, hopefully, uh, with no injuries. And uh, next week, hopefully, we'll come out and take care of business, and, and a lot of guys that have practiced hard, worked hard, they'll get their share. Yeah, they'll get their try. They'll get, they'll get out on them field. We're giving it up to our tornadoes right now. Uh, don't forget about this coaching staff. What a great job, right? Yeah, absolutely. If, if, if these guys don't get coach of the year, I mean, there's something wrong somewhere. Correct. You know, and I'm going I'm to say something about that. You know, I'm a little disappointed in all the publicity we're not getting. We need to be getting more publicity. This team is for real, guys. We, I mean, I have people all over the state that I know everybody, and they keep telling me, hey, these guys are for real. They got a chance to win this gold ball, and it's about time we get some recognition. And I guess, of course, if you win the whole darn thing, you'll get recognition. But Right. And uh, <clears throat> uh, I'll talk to coaches, and they all agree that, Drum right is for real. Um, they're not in it because they don't know anything. And um, I'll tell you what, these guys have earned every game. 
They fought every game. They came into it with the right attitude. They approached practice with the right attitude. And it shows off with all their hard work. Playing you know, on. and I know a lot of people were saying. <laughs> Coach is going to address the crowd here. <laughs> We're going to sing Happy Birthday, Happy birthday to Coach, Coach Williams. Moses. I'm not going to sing it, and I hope, Tony, you don't. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> he's, a, he's a man that don't call attention to himself. I'm going I'm to tell you a little story about Moses. Talk about his dad for a minute. Mm -hmm. Knew Terry a long time and uh, know his grandma and his mom, and uh, they're good people. Um, Terry passed away from COVID, but uh, he's a good coach, good player, good person. So, miss O'Terry every day. So, Oh, and also just got told that it was Chris Ellerick, Coach Chris Ellerick's 200 victory. As a coach, and once you cross the, the Mendoza line at 200, <laughs> if you baseball fans out yeah. there, once you cross that, you've done something in high school coaching. So uh, congratulations to Chris. And, you know, he he doesn't get the credit he deserves because um, he is uh, he's quite the coach, has been since, you know, since I first know, knew him back in the, you know, 1999. So uh, congratulations to him as well and his family and all these coaching staff. Well, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back. We'll talk about what's next. And uh, you're listening to Tornado Football. You're on Squirtle. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Uh, we're back here at the final time at Barnstall where your tornadoes are victorious 46 to nothing over the Barnstall Panthers. Um, Remember, next week we're at the Olive Wildcats on Thursday night at 7 o'clock, so be sure to show up for the final season game. Um, don't want to take anything away from Olive because we, we, we know that it's a big rivalry on 33 highways, so, you know, we just, we, we're excited about this victory and uh, looking forward to what's ahead. So, Tony, what do you got to say to close this thing out? Oh, just uh, it's great to see the Tornado fans celebrate. And um, be in a position that we haven't been in in a long time. And for the Tornadoes to be 9-0, and one more game in district. They come out and play the way they should at Olive. Uh, you're looking at a 10-0 season and heading to districts, which by all circumstances, listen to this crowd. By all circumstances, if we win our district, we should be playing a fourth-place team in this event. Pretty exciting, Tony. Yeah. Happy for these kids, though. Man. Oh, man. Are we off now? 
No, we're still on. Oh, you, you still don't want to go do anything. So we're taking pictures of the, the team celebration. And uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just just one of those moments. I mean, Penny's out there directing traffic. Yeah, trying to get everybody lined up. <laughs> Tell you what, as a, as a, uh, they're trying to get a group shot. Of yeah, they, they need to soak and, all this in as much as they can. Yeah, you never know when it yeah. comes along again. It's rare. Like we said, we got to go out play ball against all of them next week. Um, then we'll be facing. If we win our district uh, first time since 1964. We go play the fourth place team. Well, we come home, have two home games. Yeah, we'll have two home games, uh, depending on how we choose to do that. Uh, we could play a first round at home. And then go somewhere and then have the third I round. I don't home, think right? that's how it Does works. Does that not work like that? No. Okay. District, that's champions, an option. district champions have, a, have okay. two home games. Which is big. Yeah. Because you know? that second game could be up against a good Caddo team. Yeah, we're looking at that. Uh, fourth place in the other district that we're, we'll be up against will either be DP or Davenport, right, Gene? DP, Davenport, or Summit Christian, whichever of those. Or Summit Christian. We played Summit Christian start the year off, and then we played uh, DP in the uh, second game of the year, Gene. Yeah. And so. All right, we're going to sign off. We'll see you guys next Thursday at, at Olive. Uh, one more time, Tornadoes are victorious tonight, 46 to nothing. We'll talk to you next week. So long from Barnsdall. See you. Oklahoma is powered by CareerTech.